Hi guys. So I'm back with the next instalment of the series to make our envelope journal. So now we're on to beautifying it. So firstly, um, it needs some inking. So this bit's a bit boring too, isn't it? Hang on, my ink pad must have come off. Still, yeah, it's still sticking on there. All right, so I'm just gonna use my walnut stain oxide. You can use like that or the yeah, ink, whatever you've got. Um, I haven't got vintage photo oxide or else I'd probably give that a go for something different, but I inked the edges of both sides of all of my pages, um, plus the tops of the pockets. So you can see my little thumb notch better on that. So I'll start doing that and then I will probably get off and fast forward it or something so that you don't have to watch it all. So yeah, I just go around all the edges. Get a nice bit of color on there. That's a bit better. Just had to wet my um, applicator tool a bit better. So yeah, it does take a while to do this, but it's definitely worth it. So I hope you're all well. I'm having a stay at home day, the first one in ages. <laughs> I've been going out a bit too much lately. So I did do two levels on Ring Fit Adventure on the Switch just to get some exercise in. It nearly killed me. I do all these squats and leg lifts and <laughs> So as you can see, once you've done the little thumb notch and that, you can see it a lot better. So it is helpful. So I'll just go along this part. So once I've done um, all the inking, we'll start looking for the pictures that I want to use in mine. Of course, if you're doing a different theme, you might want to use different pictures. Now, what goes on? I think we've got a stuck bit there. Now, I've got another little pocket down here. Let me just grab my bone folder. Oh, moving my light. It's just a little stuck there, so. finish this page and then I'll show you what else I'm going to be doing and then I'll finish those processes on all the pages and then come back on. All right, so the other thing I want to do is last time I used Distress Ink and a water pen to paint down the middle where you see the blue of the envelope inside there. Now, the, you know, it sort of weakens because I use like my water pen, it did weaken that part of the envelope, which is where our pages, you know, are joined. So you don't really want to weaken that too much. One of them even like broke just a little bit, but it's still holding well. Um, so I thought this time I might try using, I either have these Faber-Castell grip color markers or I've got a, uh, my Micador stylist brush markers. So I thought I might just try using a marker um, down there this time. Now I've got a bit, I just want to see what the colours are like. Oh, I don't mind that, though it is dark, but I don't have any lighter browns. That's the problem with these markers. I absolutely love them, but they don't, you know, they don't have the different shades very much. I've got a choice of that. Oh, that's real dark. We don't want that. And the other one is this. Ah. Do a little bit of this and see what I think. It is quite dark though. 
Although I don't think I mind that. So I do prefer the inkish sort of look. I could even like use my water pen with this, but I said I don't want to get it too wet. So I'm just going to colour down. Don't mind if it's a bit rough. I don't want it too neat. You might have something else that you think will be better to do this with, so whatever works for you. But I just don't like seeing the, um, if you tea dye your envelopes or something, then it doesn't look so bad in there. That's not too bad, it'll do. All right. So what I'm going to do is continue on doing that. Now, when I do that too, I also do it in the bits of the flips. And the same with our flip up, you know, in these areas where it's a bit wide as well. So I'll continue doing that and inking all my pages and then I'll come back for the next bit. All right, so I've done all the inking and went down I mean, I'm not 100% happy with the texture that I put down there, but I do prefer it from having the blue of the envelope showing. Um, yeah, I'll have to work on getting some lighter colors to do that with, I reckon. Anyway, next thing I wanna do is, I just wanna add another bit of my Tim Holtz tissue paper to the front here. It doesn't really matter. It's just on this one. I have the tissue paper there and therefore I didn't really embellish it any further. So I might just put this here with some um, glue stick for, for now. If I can find my glue stick, there it is. <sighs> Twang, there I go, bumping the legs again. Used to be bumping the tripod, now it's bumping the um, shelf. Now is this glue working? No idea. Let's soon find out. It's just getting near the end and I can't tell. Yeah, it's not really working, is it? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna put that aside and try and use it on something. I've got my smaller one here. These being blue, I can see if this one's working or not. Make sure it's down nicely. And then I thought might as well at this stage put our little eyelets in if we want to. So I've got these little they're like bronze eyelets. So you can see on this one that I've put them in the front and back there. That one's a little bit close to the edge. <laughs> it's worrying me a bit that. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball this because I'm lazy. So I'm using my little uh, hole punch for this one. Now, I went through the pocket as well. That doesn't really matter. We just make our tag to fit that goes in there. So, um, just make sure it's in a bit. I'll put it just about there. I think that'll be okay. Now, try and squeeze this in. Right setting for this one. Feels pretty good. It's in there. It's a good start. So what I might do this time is just do a dot. Now 
I'm just sort of looking where it is there and then running my pencil around to where I think is about the right spot. Which is about there in the back. Which again is sort of in this window bit, but I'll probably glued in that area, so it's not gonna take away much of the, the room for the um, tag. I'm just getting the bit out that's stuck in there. See where I put my dot. in good so then we've got our eyelets in there oh, I just heard my son yelling so I was thinking last time I used a bit of string which I really like the looks of but Cell just gifted me something a bit of a prezi so and it was wrapped in this lace and it's quite vintage looking and I'm really loving it so I'm tempted to use that although if i use that i'd probably want to wrap it around which i could do so anyway might leave that till after i've finished doing all the um decorations so the next thing i want to do is i might put the calico on the spine area like i did with this one so we want a bit that's probably about two centimeters wide so I've got all this scrap stuff here that I got from the op shop and it was already cut into bits. It's cut into these. I don't think that's quite gonna... Oh. Let's see if I've got... Yeah, it was cut into bits like that, so it looks like it's for a big teddy bear or something. So I've been using that a lot for these littler pieces. So I've got my fabric cutter here. My rotary cutter, I should say. Now, I might grab my cutting roller, see if it helps at all. If anything helps me cut straight. I'm just going to take this edge off, I think. two centimeters from there. I'll just get that on and moving it, which isn't helpful. Two would be about there. Don't throw that bit away. <laughs> right, let's see if we've got enough there. Oh, look, it's a bit wonky, but you know, I don't really care if it doesn't fit right at the back. Let's just see if we stuck it. It'd be nice to have it sort of neatish at the front. If we stick it around like that. I'm just gonna use it anyway, because I can. So, I might just cut this top bit straightish. Okay, get my glue. Now, front is this. So I'll do the front first. I've had a habit lately of doing the back first and then pulling it over to the front and, the, and then the front's all crooked. So I think I'll do the front first and then do the back now. 
What I do like to do also is just grab some paper here. Let's grab my ink tool and just give it a bit of an inking. Yeah, I'll put it on that way. takes the colour quite nicely and then we'll fry it just a tad I have my first session at the gym tomorrow I still have to wait and have some physical assessment. I had to go get a doctor's clearance and so now I've got to have some physical assessment before I can do the main class I want to do, which was a bit annoying because, you know, you just want to get started when you want to get started. But um, I found out you can do all the other classes without a physical assessment, which doesn't make sense to me because they all sound a lot harder. Anyway, I booked into some, I think it's yoga and Pilates and Tai Chi mixed together to music. thought that sounds good for a starter class so I decided to book myself in for two sessions and that while I'm waiting for the main sessions to get started so I'm looking forward to that actually all right now I'm just gonna run some glue I'm just debating how I'd like to do it do this because I could try and do the back first and get it like centered and then fold it oh no I just do it the way I usually do it why change things now I don't like change Gotta leave enough to go over the spine part and around to the back, so hopefully I've done that. Pull that up just a tad. I cannot find this stuff anywhere at the moment. I tell you, I've been looking for it here, there, and blooming everywhere. In the cheap shop they had it actually really cheap compared to spotlight so i was getting it from there but they didn't have any the other day i was quite upset i did find some helmer's paper glue and i thought i could use that for paper and then just leave this for the fabric but it's nice to sort of have the one glue that does it all for you do is just fold this over like that it's not too bad I mean it's rough there that doesn't bother me at least it covers where it showed the envelope so that's the main thing and the front's gonna be pretty neat not that it needs to be that neat I, mean, it is, I like it looking vintage and ragged a bit but it will do so now we'll just trim this. All right, so that's those two bits done. Make sure that it still opens pretty good, yes. So now I might grab my book and try and find some pictures to use in here. Okay, I just did my weightlifting for the day. Um, so as you know, I had all these vintage pictures. Now they all came from the same book and it was one of these Chronicle of the 20th century books. I have managed to find probably about four or five of these. I think I've got two or three out of the bins. 
and then the other two I bought for like five dollars or under or whatever there's one in a shop at the moment um, near me but it's ten dollars I'm not prepared to pay that for it but I tell you if that's all you can find grab it because it probably is really worth ten dollars <laughs> or more <laughs> because it is chock-a-block full I've showed these a number of times you probably get sick of seeing them um chock-a-block full of goodies um so, and all vintage and it's got the years and the information and I love it because it has your yeah, little adverts in colour and that which are going to be such cool embellishments. So I just grabbed a couple of signatures out of it and just went through and grabbed um, the pictures that appealed to me, especially a couple that I thought might fit into the windows all right. So I've probably been through most of these. Now I'm going to use basically every bit of these. They're just so cool. But I was a bit specific about the types of pictures I wanted. So what I'm going to do is probably... Oh, it looks like... Oh, my son went and took it all apart for me, I think. I'm just going to randomly grab a few signatures that I haven't... don't think I've been through. Do that. And I'll go through and just grab a couple of things. And then I will go and find all the rest, just so you can see the type of stuff that I was looking for. But... You can find heaps of cool themed stuff in here as well, so. So I didn't really want too much war stuff in the one I did. I think I put a few bits in there, but. Which most of that looks like. Oh, look at koala. Don't mind this one. I'm not too fussed about what it's about as long as it's just like, I just want these sort of pictures of the gentlemen and ladies and that sort of thing. So I might grab that one. Now last time I grabbed a whole heap and then just um, decided what I'd use at the time. So I might take it out a bit in case I want a bit of a border. Some I left a border on and some I didn't. I did use offcuts of just words and the dates and that sort of stuff as well. So I'll be grabbing some of that to put in. Something like this one or that would be, that would be beautiful in a window, but I'm looking for just your um, black and whites at the moment, but that would be lovely in a window in the future. And that beautiful page. Oh. <laughs> Quite like that as well. Might cut that one out. Just see what's on the back, nothing that I want. So I'll just rough cut these. Nice and easy forever. Just noticed that the lovely Jeanette from our group has put up the mixed media for the month on YouTube. So looking forward to getting stuck into that. That'd almost be pretty good in a window. Oh, she'd be lovely. This lady here, I think she will fit perfectly. And I wouldn't be cutting out anything too much on that side. I'm gonna take this whole article out. So I think it's just two windows. I've got that one there and that one there that I needed. Oh, and then we've got the one for our flip as well. I think they were the only ones that I needed of that size. 
specifically. So that's three. So we've got one. Now I do use one of these rounder pictures somewhere, so I, not that you have to, but I did like the way the last one turned out, so I might grab her. See this you could almost put in a window, I'll take it in case I can't find anything else in a hurry. It just depends how you put them on the, um, like where you stick them on the tag or whatever. So, um, just thinking what else, oh, that's right. I'm going to have to make a whole lot more of my, um, I've got them up here. Just don't mind my clanging and banging. Now I have, I do have a video, a couple of videos showing how I made these, which is pretty self-explanatory when you look at them. So you could go ahead and make some. I'll try and remember to link the videos below this one so you can get a head start on those. Was gonna do it on camera, but I've already shown them. So I'll just link the video. And in the meantime, I will probably tomorrow sit down and make a few more for myself. It's just great to have a whole lot of different sizes and that.